Well, what's in the future for Tai Nui? This week, there was the third reading of the bill, which will finally see the Waikato River effectively in their guardianship, a claim which began in 1858. Chairman of Tai Nui's Executive Board, Te Aratauda, Tukuroirangi Morgan, joins me now from Christchurch, Te Kia ora. Okay. Now that the legislation has been passed, what happens now? The, uh, the Crown and Iwi will now begin to appoint to the permanent authority uh, five members on each side. So there will be five Iwi members and five uh, appointed Crown members and that will uh, make up the new authority uh, which all activities that touch, that affect the Waikato River uh, will fall under. So, and, and also getting on with the job of cleaning the river up. And uh, that's precisely the job of the, uh, of the permanent board. So its job is to uh, restore the health and well-being of the river. Its job also is to distribute uh, the $210 million of uh, government money uh, to help uh, with uh, the clean-up. And uh, it's an opportunity for the whole community, including iwi, Māori across our region, uh, to provide innovative plans to help restore the wealth, uh, the health and well-being of the river. Can I get a response to you? Act MP David Garrett said that the legislation ignores the affinity that other New Zealanders have to the river. Your response to that? Absolute nonsense. Uh, here you have a co-governance arrangement between the Crown and Iwi. Uh, there are equal numbers. I guess the, uh, this, this opportunity ushers in a new era of consensus decision making. We've trialled it under the Guardian's Establishment Committee for two years. We're uh, extremely pleased and uh, we think that this model uh, can be an effective model as we uh, pave our way forward uh, to help uh, to restore uh, the order uh, to our tupunawa. Michael Cullen, former Treaty Negotiations Minister, says that this model could be the right model to address the seabed and foreshore issue. What do you think about that? I think that, uh, uh, that in the end, uh, it comes down to who manages the seabed foreshore in the same way that uh, the key question for us is who manages and who governs all activities uh, 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 that fall within the ambit of the Waikato River. It is no different to the seabed and foreshore. Uh, I think that this model of co-governance is an extremely uh, innovative model. Uh, it's not been uh, trialled or tested or used in this country. And uh, uh, clearly here's an opportunity for both Māori across the country and the Crown uh, to, uh, in a principled and legislative way, work together, work together uh, for the benefit of this nation. In talking about moving forward for Tainui Waikato, because the Hemiro case, have you put that behind you in terms of the whole uh, employment issue there? Have you, has that been left behind you now? Look, uh, our former uh, Chief Executive Officer uh, made a contribution to the tribe. Uh, we have won in the, uh, in the Employment Authority. Uh, I've said to the Tribal Parliament that I will not uh, waste uh, uh, one more minute, if I can, uh, on this issue. Uh, the, uh, the tribe is going forward and uh, uh, we have momentum and impetus to, uh, to do a whole bunch of things, including redeveloping Hopu Hopu, uh, to now turn our attention to the outstanding claims over Auckland, over the east coast harbours of Manuko, of Whaingaroa, of Aotea and uh, Kafia. Those are pressing issues uh, th uh, that this tribe has to get on with. Uh, uh, the fact of the matter is, is that I look forward uh, to appointing uh, a new uh, Chief Executive Officer. We think that this tribe stands at the gateway of, an, of enormous opportunities. And uh, we're going to take it with both hands. We're going to look for the best person, whether it's man or woman, uh, irrespective of uh, which tribe that person comes from. We're going to look for the best person for this tribe because this tribe deserves to have the best skilled person to do the job. Just how united is the tribe at the moment? Just looking at issues around Hermido, there were also issues around the king. Um, how united do you think the tribe is in, in terms of your plan moving forward? Uh, the... Uh, when you see uh, this tribe in the context of the Kingita, we've suffered uh, murder, 
rebellion uh, an attack uh, on our home by the Crown. We've lost land of 1.25 million acres. These are but uh, small aberrations. Uh, we're very confident uh, uh, that the tribe uh, can move forward in a united manner, as we must, as we around the country galvanise and begin to grow their economic power and to restore their uh, cultural and social prosperity to, uh, uh, to respective iwi. We are... Uh, the same as everyone else. We want to get on. We have to make progress and uh, uh, it's time now to build an enduring legacy for those who come after us, Shane. To good Rangi Morgan, thank you very much for your time. We are out of time now, but thank you and all the very best. Kia ora.